Can I find every Gen 1 shiny Pokemon in just 24 hours? Thanks to fossils, starters, and legendaries, there's no chance. That's why I assembled a top team of shiny hunters to take on my most difficult shiny challenge yet. I'm gonna go for something that no one else claimed, shockingly enough. I'm gonna go for Pikachu. Knowing PM7, the stream will be really short. I feel like my shiny prowess has been exaggerated at this point. Where's your shiny luck? You haven't found a shiny? Uh, well, your shiny luck's with me right here, and I apologize for that. But it doesn't matter, because we got our first shiny. That's how you start this off. That right there is how you start this off. Shiny Pikachu. He seems pretty resistant. Oh, and there it is at the buzzer. Bang. All right, not this guy. Nope. No. Oh! Did anyone see that? I didn't see anything outside of the overall shiny counter climbing up and climbing up rapidly. While most people started hunting in Pokemon Scarlet or Violet, not every Kanto Pokemon was able to be found in those games. So to complete this challenge, some people were already shiny hunting in different games, and a few of them were even brilliant enough to start brand new games and get guaranteed shiny Pokemon. My first target is a shiny, a shiny Ponyta. Yo, first shiny, first shiny of the stream. <laughs> another one. <gasps> is that another shiny Ponyta? Oh my God, chat, that's. <laughs> On the complete other end of the difficulty spectrum, we had the legendary hunts. Mew itself was locked into one in 8,192 odds. And to get it, we needed a miracle. But as those difficult hunts trudged along, the Scarlet and Violet hunts were going smoothly outside of one person, not naming any names, who desperately needed to redeem himself. I feel like Pikachu's the villain here. I, we're, we were talking about Pikachu being the villain and it showed up, Chad. I'm telling you, there's something wrong with his mouse. We're gonna be very careful. We're gonna, we're gonna click the X button, X. A. If anyone was wondering if I did that on purpose for like a bit or a clip, no. <laughs> I'm so flustered. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because that's our second shiny Kanto Pokemon. We're on to a new hunt. And I had the perfect next target. The first shiny Pokemon I ever found, Dugtrio. It might not be the best shiny out there, but it was special to me. Oh God, he's so small. Bye-bye. No, don't go underground. You think of Pokemon Platinum? which is one of my favorite games of all time. One of what else is one of my favorite things? Finding a shiny, get back here, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Get back here, get back here, get back here. Okay, we're good, we're good. Okay, okay, there it is. Yo, we got our first one. Let's go. Oh, let's go, let's go. Vulpix number one. Yes, we got one. We got Poliwag, oh my God, I saw it. We got one, let's go. Oh, yo, shiny me out. Wait, 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 wait. Yes, let's go. Look at you. Oh, beautiful. So gorgeous, so delicious, so lovely. <gasps> wait, Meowth. Oh, we got it. Let's go. This is actually a really small one, I feel like. We got a small ball. Oh, <laughs> I just ran into that. I didn't see it. Number two, nine tails. <laughs> there's no way. There's there's actually no way we just got that in 11 seconds. Let's go. That's number two. There we go. Magnezone acquired. I keep on saying Magnezone and it's not Magnezone. It's Magneton. Oh my gosh. Yo, instantly, progress, we're doing it, <laughs> Shady Kramer. And after I found yet another shiny Diglett and evolved it into a glorious Doug Trio, we were officially up to 32 Gen 1 shinies in just under two hours. If we were able to keep this pace up, we'd be done the entire event in eight more hours with a whopping 14 hours left. Now, to be fair, most of the recent shinies found had been in Scarlet and Violet, but that also included something we were worried could take countless hours to find. <gasps> Wait, no way. <gasps> oh my God. 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 Wait. Yeah, oh my God. Yes. 
first sandwich, bro. First sandwich. I might master ball it. I might literally master ball this. Let's go. And it's Morg. The sudden. Are you kidding? We even had someone using my favorite method of all time. Pokey radar hunting going after the Nidoran line and BDSP. <gasps> that is our first sparkle patch. Shiny knitter and female, baby. I'm gonna just stay in my lane and get a shiny knitter in. All right, knitter in female number two. But even after finding two shiny diglet, I still had a ground sandwich active, so it only made sense to go after another ground shiny. Now, some people are saying I tried stealing someone else's shiny target. But you know what they say stealing is mealing. It's PM7 genuinely trying to take my sand true no it's like friendship it's like it's a friendship true friend true so i found shiny sand true what's up we found shiny sand true now and we're we're talking about the pikachu again i think if you f catch the sand true uh -huh. and quickly evolve it okay there is no harm done Sand true, we did it! Yeah! Yes! Sand slash! Sand true, I've been checked! Yeah! Don't kill it! Don't! Nope, I caught it! No matter how many shinies I found, that one mistake continued to haunt me. The only thing that seemed to make sense was to go after Pikachu's ghost itself and shiny Ghastly. But clearly, Pikachu had not forgiven me, and things quickly spiraled. Good news, bad news, chat. I mean, there's a lot of ghosts around. The bad news is these are some of the hardest shinies to find in this entire challenge. No, it's becoming daytime! No, 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 no! Does it still spawn in the daytime? No! And this right here is exactly why I didn't attempt this challenge by myself. For every minute I was struggling, countless other shinies were being found. We got the ducky! <gasps> Shelter. Why don't you murder the non-shiny? Because I just found a shiny, that's why I don't need to! I don't need to murder the non-shinies! Violence is not the answer, chat! Oh, we got one. Just it. Oh my god, no way! Oh, shiny Cubone! Yo! Subscribe to PM7 if you want shinies! Hey, he said it, not me. He's not wrong, though. Oh my god! What? <gasps> That's a shiny Weedle! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! And there it is! And you will evolve into a very depressing and lame shiny. <laughs> baby we got all three that's royal blue that is my royal buddy why was that so easy <laughs> and shiny snorlax oh oh never mind shiny in my jam <gasps> shelter oh my god we got a shiny horse day he's here it would be cool to say now that i went to taylor swift concert camber why are you dying oh wait yeah sandwich time is being wasted oh my god is that a shiny <laughs> Oh, oh, it doesn't matter what I was gonna say because we got one, we got one, bang, bang. While we hadn't been able to keep up our previous pace, we'd still managed to find over one third of the needed shinies in just four hours. If we kept up this new pace, we'd still be done with 12 hours to spare. Surely our pace wouldn't continue to slow down and surely I'd find those two haunters easily. Landon, it keeps becoming daytime. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, no one's going after the fairies. No, like your your Jigglypuffs and your Clefairies and stuff like that? Has everyone left all of the not fun to define shinies where the colors barely change and I keep going after them for some reason, making my life significantly worse? I'm not gonna say they're doing it on <laughs> purpose. <laughs> Purposeful or not, they could leave me the worst Kanto shinies Scarlet and Violet had to offer as long as they were still finding shinies, and thankfully, they absolutely were. Oh, there it is! Let's go! Ekans number one. We're done with the line. Shiny Oddish. I think I've gotten this thing like, I don't even know how many times now. There we go, Gloom. Come here, Zubat, come here. Oh my gosh, immediately? Wait. Yeah, shiny Tangela! <gasps> Horsey, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Yo, what's good, my dude? How you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, no way! I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna scream! I'm gonna cry! I'm gonna throw up! It's been four hours! 
I care for her so much. I'm so worried. Oh, there's the shiny <laughs> Clefairy. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay, that. I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight. That's that's a sign. Okay. At this point, I was really starting to feel like Squidward looking out the window at everyone else having fun, shiny hunting, and all these oh other cool gosh. games. But before I could even think of joining them, I had unfinished business with the shiny ghastly line. Wait, is that a shiny ghastly? It is a shiny ghastly. Let's go. Mm -hmm. oh. Yes, Badness. I don't have to go back to Haunter. I can evolve it. Yes. Hey, is that the, sh the final Shiny Ghastly? Let's go. Go, Shiny yes. Ghastly. Let's go. Yes. Wait, who's going to trade with me? Uh, I will. Can me. I, I like since you. I couldn't get the Haunter? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Fool? What, why is it fool? He was my first duplicate shiny and he was a shiny frog and I was like, this has to go to John at some point. And with that line completed, I had officially found nine shiny Kanto Pokemon and even a bonus shiny Barboach, all of which emboldened me to go big for my very first non-Scarlet hunt of the event. Would it be crazy to try to get shiny Charizard? I want to do it. Let's go. No, let's get let's get shiny Charizard. It might be a bit crazy, but considering we did this before the Indigo Disc DLC came out, we had to get a bit creative and incredibly lucky if we wanted to get all nine shiny starters in the 24 hours. And on top of them, the legendary shinies were always looming. Mm, content, yummy content. We love it. You, you can't eat the content, man. We've gone over I this. I got shiny What'd you get? I got, a I got a shiny Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur. Oh, let's go! I got him! Literally, my Masuda of luck in this game is cracked. Also, we just Thank crossed you. the halfway mark. Oh, hey. we did? Wait, Bulbasaur go. got us the halfway yeah. mark? Oh, that is 70, that was number 76. So Hold that is on. halfway there. I don't care for smoothies because it's like I'm, I'm eat, I'm drinking fruit. Hello there. <gasps> oh my God, oh my God. That's a random conversation. Sorry, I don't like soup, but here's my shiny. PM7, this is your video. I only have one Master Ball. It's for you, buddy. Master Ball. Whoa! Shiny Zapdos. Shiny Zapdos? Nice. What? It does not look shiny. <laughs> not only did we hit the halfway point with 18 hours left, we hit the halfway point with the back-to-back -back starter and legendary shinies. And those were after multiple other shinies were found by other people. That is a shiny Ekans. <laughs> Let's go! We got them a choke! <gasps> shiny! Oh my god! That's a shiny! Wait, I think I I think that's a shiny. Yes! Let's go! And after all of that, finding a shiny Charizard no longer seemed crazy. It seemed guaranteed. Oh! Oh, Shiny! Shiny! Wait! Shiny! Get off the stupid thing! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Yeah! Oh! Articuno! Yeah, let's go! This is my contribution to the whole event. I am throwing a Master Ball. Boom. Articuno was found? Wow, we're getting the legendary so much easier than I thought we would. What? I forgot Moltres sometimes spawned. Oh, Shiny Spiro! Another one! Let's go, chat. Let's go, guys. Nice. We're making good progress. We still got 16 hours. There's a few really difficult Chinese we have coming up. Turns out Shiny Charizard wasn't guaranteed, but honestly, that didn't really matter as I was still able to add two brand new Shinies to the count and the rest of the team hadn't slowed down in the slightest. Yes, finally, we finally found a Shiny. Give it to me! Yes! Finally! Let's go! No way! No way! I'm so sorry! Shiny Cubone, it's on shield! Just like, oh, we got another shiny Pidgey! <gasps> oh my god, I got an Oddish. Hold up. Oh, oh, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy. Yes, baby! That's two! Four. Come on! Number two! Hey, little guy. I almost cried. Oh, wait, Shiny Star, are you? Yes! Oh my god, an alpha! Holy sh Shiny! Yay! Oh, gosh. Well, 94 Shinies in eight hours was absolutely incredible. It was becoming increasingly likely for two negative things to happen. Either A, you might find a repeat Shiny, 
or B, someone else might find the shiny you're currently going for. And for that reason, I felt it was best to abandon the Charizard hunt and try my best to avoid both of those outcomes. Wanted to ask uh, your three opinion on the, the idea of going to Legends Arceus for Electabuzz. Is that stupid or is it smart? If you do mess and mess outbreaks, that's not bad. You can do I that just came from there. There's an insane amount of Alakid outbreaks. Right, let's see if I can get the old Legends Arceus out and maybe perfect Alakid and Electabuzz as we go. We'll see. Electabuzz was already found? Wait, what do you mean? <gasps> oh my god, I'm gonna- Dude, I'm so happy Electabuzz was found. I'm like, I'm like real, I'm like really happy. I'm like really, I'm, I'm not, I'm, well, that didn't work. Maybe I should have kept going for shiny Charizard, but thankfully the rest of the team was having better luck. <gasps> whoa, 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 let's go! Yes! Let's go! Yeah! We did it, chat! Let's go! We got him a chop! At this point, I'd come up with a brand new shiny hunting scheme, but it did kind of go against what I had talked about earlier. Hoodlum Callum had been shiny hunting for Porygon and Abra for nine hours at this point and only had a shiny Raticate to show for it. We had to get those four shinies at some point, so if I could just sneak in there and maybe get the shiny Porygon before Callum, he still had plenty of time to get an Abra or two. Could always egg hunt them. I think we need people egg hunting the starters and especially the fossils. Actually, speaking of starters, remember that super lucky Bulbasaur found in just 10 eggs? That was both the beginning and also the end of our Masuda shiny luck, which was incredibly worrying as eight starter Pokemon and five fossils still remained. At some point, those had to be addressed, but for now, I had a Porygon to find. Oh, shiny! Wait, do we need that? Do we need that? Nope. No, we don't need it! We don't need it! No, what do I do? Oh, we ignore it. Oh, no. Just then. I got shiny Porygon! Oh, yeah! oh let's go! Yes! Oh, let's go, let's go! Okay, I need to catch it first, hold on. You got it, Callum! Yo, let's go! Yeah! Oh, that's so hype! Now, I'm not gonna say I was why Callum found Shiny Porygon, but right after he found that, Vandy was able to find a Shiny Abra, and it became very clear to me, at least, that going after the Shinies I was hunting for was very lucky. With that in mind, I decided to head to Rock Tunnel to see if I could either find or more likely help someone find one of the many rare shinies we still needed in there. And wouldn't you know it? <gasps> Shiny Onyx! <laughs> yeah! yeah, yeah. I, I didn't even I didn't even start yet! It was the first one of the outbreak. Even though we had caught over 100 different Gen 1 Shiny Pokemon, we were still missing three legendary Pokemon, including the most difficult ones. And while 13 hours still remained, most people would be heading to bed somewhat soon, and it would be a whole lot easier to get some sleep if just even one of those shinies was found. Let's see. I got the shiny Mewtwo! Did you really? I... No! I got the shiny Mewtwo! No way! The first one you did! Oh my god! Since the beginning of the event, Okami Sky had been doing Dynamax adventures, hoping to get just one shiny legendary, and her husband got shiny Mewtwo on his very first attempt! Incredibly deserved luck after everything he went through with shiny Porygon, but I was hopeful that she'd get a little bit of that luck to hopefully get the last shiny legendary we needed in Dynamax Adventures. And I was hoping to steal just a little bit of that luck as I began my final shiny hunt of the night. Imagine shiny hunting a crab and getting a shiny bird. If we could get Farfetch, that would be fire. Boo! Boo! That was your shiny burb. I reject it. I reject the burb. Chad, I know I am not the most entertaining streamer right now. I'm hanging hanging on just by sheer bitterness at Pidgey. Oh, hello! No! No! No, Chansey has been caught, hasn't it? Oh, it's like really killing me not to go catch that, but it would ruin everything. Chat, I think, uh, I think this is where we call it.
Not the shiny luck I was hoping for, but once again, someone else was able to find the shiny I was hunting for, and that made me feel at least a bit better. And with half the events still remaining, we already had 109 of the 151 necessary shinies. There was no doubt in my mind that we'd be able to complete this, even if I went and got just a few hours of sleep. This is so exciting. This is so nerve wracking. How many shinies were found? I know, no time to mess around. Let's see. What happened? Eight shinies. Only eight shinies were found in six full hours. Before I went to bed, I had found 11 total shinies myself. I knew that most of the shinies left were gonna be tougher, but even then, not a single shiny Caterpie had even been found yet. I had been confident that I was gonna wake up to 130, maybe 135 on the counter, but 117? This event had gone from a practical guaranteed success to the brink of disaster overnight. What even happened when I went to bed? <gasps> yes! <gasps> oh my god, I just got the execute. <gasps> Wait, shiny Krabby number two. Oh, I just got another execute. Oh, wait, Shiny Goldeen! God, I'm the best to ever do it! In just an hour and a half, they found five shinies, including a shiny starter. So what could have possibly happened in the next few hours? Oh, I'm the one that's frozen. We're all just fossils <laughs> making our way to the ground. That's that's really morbid. You're welcome. Oh, shiny smoosham. Bam. I'm still frozen. This is amazing! Oh, My brain is gone. <laughs> My brain is gone! That is a-okay. We reached that point. I know how later he's staying up. What? Yes. All of it. Yeah, we have a shiny. And it's a Kadabra. Oh, there's 11. There's 11, baby! I have what to stop. What was yours? I've, I've been like, uh, I'll stop at 12. I'll stop after what, what five the, more uh, eggs. Oh my god! Oh my god! I got it! 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 I'm literally shaking right now. Oh my... I'm gonna have a meltdown! I'm gonna be frozen again! In the moment, I couldn't help but feel disappointed seeing the lack of progress, but after watching that footage now, I just feel disappointed in myself. While I certainly didn't ask anybody to stay up all night, multiple people had because they were so committed to the silly idea I came up with, and where was I? Sound asleep counting shiny sheep, and we didn't even need a shiny sheep until the Gen 2 event. I had decided to bet that a well-rested PM7 would find way more shinies than an exhausted one, and now my reputation was on the line. If what I say about my shiny luck is true, it was time to prove it. We are officially back, chat. Let's see what's going on in the chat. Oh, I, 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 I met a lot of Good hey, morning. Hey, <laughs> Hey, John. John, I did Hi. it. I did it. John, I lost my mind. Yeah. I, I, I thought I'd already lost it. <laughs> I was wrong. We've been so in the much. trenches, John. <laughs> it's been truly. Well, you've been sleeping. What? Well, you've been slumbering away. Do you know what this was? This was, this was just a convoluted ploy for PM7 to get rid of all the new Pokemon YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make everybody watching suffer. So like, as I go, I'm just gonna rub <laughs> the extra grease all over Real. me. <laughs> I need to grab my 3DS. Let's, it's back to the capture card days. I'm ready. I think I'm about to embark on a shiny hunt that I started like seven years ago. I've convinced myself like, hey, I'm just gonna waltz into Viridian Forest. I'm gonna scoop up a Bulbasaur, get this egg. It's gonna be great. And everyone's gonna be galvanized. It's a good word too. Once we get a new shiny on the board, then I'll feel good. Oh, shiny Caterpie! Shiny Caterpie! Yes! Yes! It's something! It's something! Finally! All right, perfect. Oh, shiny, wait, Oddish! Shiny Oddish! And I think we need shiny Vileplume. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, we do need a shiny Vileplume! Yeah, let's go! That's another one! In the two hours I'd been up, I'd already caught two brand new shinies. But unfortunately, those were the only two shinies anyone had caught in this time, and the team very clearly needed a spark. I hate shiny hunting. <laughs> <laughs> shiny Caterpie and Oddish were cool, but someone needed to find something difficult and exciting to prove to everyone that we could still do this. Prove to everyone that this wasn't over by a long shot. I just need commentating and shinies. Commentating and shinies. That's all I need. 
It's a little early. Whoa! Shiny! Shiny Kabuto! Shiny Kabuto! Wait! Wait! Shiny Kabuto! Hey! Yay! Let's go! It may have taken completing a five-year-old shiny hunt on a capture card that barely still worked, but the team was finally reinvigorated with the shiny Kabuto checked off the list, and after yet another shiny Caterpie, the floodgates burst wide open. Yes! Chat, we got it! Let's go! There we go. We got it. Hey, shiny Charmander! Yo, my God! Yes! Yes! Don't do it! So we Don't still need one Charmander, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm still. I'm st oh! And Shiny Star, are you? What? Nice. Hey! Oh, there we go. Let's go. The floodgates are open. I I hate this. Oh, my Shiny Kangaskhan. Let's go. Oh, yes! 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 Let's go. Let's go. Why would I say that, Rashad? Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I might have just gotten a shiny Kadabra. I'm not sure. I did. Oh, Chad, we did it. Chad, we got it. Yo, shiny seal, shiny seal. Oh my God. Yes. After I fell asleep, we only found 10 shiny Pokemon in the next eight hours. But after I found shiny Kabuto, we found 10 shinies in just two hours. And with an hour and a half still left, there was real optimism that we could build upon this momentum and maybe get this done. And if nothing else, at least make it close. But that right there was the last thing any of us needed to see. But we couldn't lose focus over a stupid shiny Dugong. There were far better shinies to focus on instead, and we just had to keep believing we could do this. Yes, Chad, we got it! Let's go! You took so long. You took forever, but we got him. Bam! Shiny Tauros. There it is. Let's go. Let's go, Shiny Tauros, baby. Simple. Simple. But then suddenly, the shiny floodgates seemed to fully shut. If Kabuto had been the shiny to open them, Dugong was the shiny to slam them shut right after Shiny Toro squeaked his way out. Time was running out, and if we wanted to at least end this event on a high note, we needed to reclaim that shiny. We needed a Shiny Seal Whisperer. Hey, I got my sentimental shinies, so I'm happy. Somebody clip that. I might have or may not have just failed the shiny. No. no. I'm not even no. kidding. It popped up as I was going down the ladder for like a half second. I don't know if it I don't know if it was a cave sparkle or not. It you was the shiny. The most filled it was. Oh, no! No! Oh my gosh, that was so shiny! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Unfortunately, Shiny Seal ended up being the final shiny we saw in this event. In 24 hours, we had successfully managed to catch 132 of the 151 shiny Kanto Pokemon. And while that might have been impressive for a team of 27 people, it still wasn't enough. And while we may not have been able to complete this challenge, I promise you, we will complete the next challenge as February 23rd at 12 p.m. EST, we're gonna try to catch every single Johto Shiny Pokemon in 24 hours. And if there's anything I learned from this video specifically, it's simply, I hate Seal.